Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. And it's December, it's getting towards that time of year. So I thought we'd create some festive tutorials along with some printed output. We're going to be making this print in place Christmas tree, which has these links in between to connect all these pieces together. This makes it somewhat flexible in its design, as in we can move these pieces. And this video is the introduction to the project. This uses quite a unique workflow in that it's created in the part design, but from a multi-body sketch. So you can see this sketch has multiple bodies within to create each of the parts. So multiple closed wires. This is safely mixed with a part workflow. And we're gonna be learning how to use compound techniques in there. The finished output will be in a step format. And we'll be able to see each of the individual parts in the step file and import them into our slicer ready for 3D printing. One thing to remember with this project, as kindly pointed out by one of my patrons, is that this will need some kind of support. So if you look in here, we have the supporting material in here. I'm using Prusa Slicer and my supports are just changed to everywhere here. The green is the support material and you can see the support material in between the pin and the void to allow that to bridge that gap as you can't print horizontally into fresh air. The finished result is a 3D printed Christmas tree and I'm using a PLA silk material which has an emerald metallic color. Though the finished result is quite simple, it teaches the fundamental of compound design using the part workbench along with the part design, having those coexist together in one single project. So I'll add a link in the description below for the instructions of how to create this project. And I hope it gives you an insight in using the part and part design together in a simple way and in a fun way considering it's Christmas. Please look in the description to find the link to the next video. So I hope you enjoy the channel and in the next video we'll learn how to create this project from the ground up. 